Hello, video maniacs of all shapes, sizes, and colors. This is Practice Dummy. This video is for the members of the vpforums.org community. Uh, this video is going to be a tutorial on how to place an image onto a target to be used for Visual Pinball 10. Uh, there are going to be two things that you will need as far as this tutorial goes. Uh, number one, uh, go to your search engine of choice and download GIMP. GIMP is a free image editing program which is suitable for the purposes of Visual Pinball 10. And then the second thing is going to be a primitives collection which will be in a file on a link below in the description. Uh, the one requirement is if you're not a vpforms.org uh, member, uh, sign up. It's free and painless as far as I know. <laughs> no telling how they changed it up since. But, but uh, after you've done uh, both uh, download GIMP and signed up with vpforms.org if you have not already, then we can go ahead and start. Uh, the first thing you want to do is open up GIMP. And once you open up GIMP, uh, click on File and select Open. We're going to be opening up the template um, that we're going to use to uh, place an image upon. So, go into Pictures, and I believe I placed mine here in Pinball, Primitives Collections, yes. And then a folder says Primitive Collection, then double click on Textures. And we're going to scroll almost all the way down here and look for an image called target t1 round white png double click on that uh, pop-up box here just click convert go ahead and hold down the control button and uh, move up the scroll wheel just one that'll give you a larger area to deal with the template okay once we got the template up and going then the next thing we want to do is we want to open up a file of the picture that you want to create an image to put on the target for. In this case, we want to create a round image for a round target template. So go ahead and click on File, select Open. And in my case, I'm going to be using a picture that is much larger than the template picture. But, um, you know, th that's probably going to be happening with uh, you as well. Where the template is only about 256 by 256. And the uh, image file brought up is 1920 by 1200. So, <laughs> much larger. But, uh, for now, uh, what we want to do next is, is we want to select the uh, ellipse select tool up here in the uh, toolbox on the upper left but select the ellipse select tool and then in this case I want to capture the uh, head of the lovely Shodan here of System Shock series. Uh, take the cursor and place it to approximately the most upper left part of the image that you're wanting to capture and go ahead and click and hold down the left mouse button and then drag across until you get uh, about the image uh, you want. In this case I've got the whole face captured and it's uh, fairly centered for uh, the purposes here. Now if you um, are not satisfied with what you uh, you know captured here as far as the image goes just hit escape and then you can do it again just go to the upper right hold down the mouse button and select and center up how you want um, uh, the image uh, to be captured and then of course once you are satisfied with what you got inside the circle here hit the enter key now, hold down the control key and hit the C key. We're going to copy our selection here. 
Then come up here to the tab bar and click on the template tab to bring the template tab back up. Now come up to the top and click on file or excuse me click on edit select paste as and select and click on new layer. Now since the image that we captured off of this uh, larger file is going to be is larger than the uh, template file you're going to see only a portion of your image but no problem there. Okay what we want to do is come over here to the toolbox over here and select the scale tool. Now since we have selected the scale tool go ahead and click on the image now we can't see any of the handles outside the middle handle here so what you need to do is hold down the control key and scroll down on your scroll wheel on your mouse. In this case I'm going to do it twice until I can see all the uh, handles. Now the handles on the perimeter are what you use to scale the image down with. The handle in the middle is what you use to move the image around to to you know get it placed where you'd like it to be placed at. But for now we're going to go ahead and scale down so grab like a corner and scale it down quite a bit. And once you get it scaled to where you want as far as the size goes we want to of course get it drug up to the template. So, uh, click and hold the left mouse button on the center box and drag it over. Now let's go ahead and resize the template to be larger than it currently is. Uh, hold down the control key and press up on the mouse wheel. And there we go. Now we can go ahead and make it easier to eyeball uh, the uh, image to get it fit on correctly. And again the middle boxes there to relocate the image to how you want it. Now the purpose of uh, getting this image set up is you want it to completely cover the white area and the uh, uh, the upper white round circle here. Once you got set up the whites covered and the image is placed you know as you like it to be placed at hit the enter key. And there you go. Now <laughs> we can actually take and copy what we have just placed right here and uh, make it to where we can place a second one to cover this other smaller round white circle here. So I'll hold down the control key and hit the C key and we're going to copy what we got in the selection. Then go ahead and click on edit, select paste as, and select new layer. Now the new image will be exactly on top of the other one. So go ahead and hold down with the left mouse button and whoops, a click on the left mouse button, then click and hold on to the box and bring it over a little bit. And now we can go ahead and scale it down to be able to fit, as you see, fit to, to fit on the small white circle. Again, you want to make sure you cover up the entire white area. Now, once you got things set up again for the other circle here, hit the Enter key. And there we go. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to save the image. So, click on File. Uh, do not select Save or Save As. That simply saves the file in GIMP's proprietary format for GIMP to use later if you want to do any editing on the image at hand. What we want to do is select as Export As. And we'll go ahead and what we want to do is when you're naming uh, files for Visual Pinball 10. You want to make sure you keep the file small as po or excuse me, the name size as small as possible. If it gets too large, the, you'll be able to import the image into the image manager, but when you go to place the image on the target, the image will not show up because for some reason, if the name file is too long, uh, the image will not show up on your target. So I shorten up the name a little bit, but we'll add just a little bit here. SS, yeah, 
SS bleep, uh, SS2 for System Shock 2. <laughs> okay, and then we click on the export button on the bottom right. Another window pops up. Click on export. And of course, make sure you pay attention to where you save the file at too, which I needed to do. Okay, uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and open up Visual Pinball 10. And if you haven't already started up a new table, uh, go ahead and do so. New and blank table. Although you're going to see that it's obviously not blank. It's got some stuff already put on there. And the first thing we want to do is we want to import or select a table, image manager. And then we want to click on import button towards the upper right. And then we want to look for uh, where uh, we place the image uh, file at. In my case, I actually ended up placing it, I believe, in the templates here, which it should not have been placed into, but it is what it is. But I uh, found the image here, round white SS2. Go ahead and double click on that. Now you have to click on another image, but then come back to um, the round white SS2, in my case, and you'll see the image has been imported. Go ahead and click on OK. Now let's go ahead and create a target and uh, show off our handiwork. And as soon as I find the target on the left side here, go ahead and bring the target up. And I'm going to bring this fairly close so I'll be able to view it better. And then over here on the right side, the Options menu, under Type, uh, I want to select hit target round and then on their image <coughs> want to go down and find the round white SS2 and then click on the play field hit the F5 key and there we go you could probably not see it all that uh, well being a small object but it is there and there you go that's how you can create an uh, image to put onto a target and import it and utilize it on Visual Pinball 10. I hope this helps you out greatly. God bless you one and all, and take care.